Okay, this is the whole set of impedance tube that will be used for measuring sound absorption of materials. We have a generator, we have an amplifier, we have a computer, uh, we have a tubes. Okay, this is the the channel impedance tube. Okay, so this is the absorption tube. So we have a microphone A, microphone B. Sample will be put in here, right? Uh, this is the amplifier, amplifier, and this is the generator. This generator produces sound and will be amplified by the amplifier and then channel to the tubes. All right. So uh, the generator will be connected to the to the um, channel by using microphone A and B. So this is called channel three, channel four. And the computer, uh, where the uh, impedance tube software installed here, we need a long LAN connection and must be connected to the computer. Here, the computer, connected to the computer. And we have the dongle, don't forget the dongle. The, the software won't work. Alright. Okay, this one. Produce light. Right. And make sure that when you doing the large sample, this one must be point at linear. Right. Step is open the uh, large tube since we use large tube. Large tube. Large tube, SDC, double click, double click it. Alright, so here, there you go. We got the, the what do you call that? Alright. Okay, so our parameter is incorrect, don't worry about that. So before we start the measurement, make sure that we do the project setup here. Project setup. Okay, we have uh, here the menu here. Okay. All right. So we have tube, tube, measurement, generator environment option and front end so do click one by one the, the tube because we're using the large tube so here is we got a lot of uh, drop down here so we se select large the measurement okay the line we choose 800 the span 1.6 the average 100 the generator okay we choose random with the signal level 0.5 okay so I think 0.5 is enough the environment okay the environment this is the atmospheric pressure uh, the temperature the relative humidity is 60 also it's possible if we have a Plus minus two. Okay, then. All right. This bit here. So this is the important one, the front end. Make sure that we have a slot number one for signal microphone A. So this is microphone A, microphone B. 
you can see here microphone B microphone A here microphone A right so uh, microphone A will be connected by channel 3 this is the channel 3 channel 3 uh, with uh, while for microphone B it will it with a uh, channel 4 right then uh, the transducer's number transducer's number is the number inside here we have uh, the number here Can open it. So, oh. it's time, it's time. It's loose. Okay, here is the number of transducers. You can see that. So both of them is 487, 487. So do input at the transducers. And then the serial number, just now we got the serial number, 3175432. And then everything, okay, and then press connect signal. So it will show you signal. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, for the next step is channel calibration. Okay, press channel calibration. All right. This is the calibrator. I have a calibrator here. All right. And we will calibrate the the microphone. So this is the microphone A, microphone B. So we're going to calibrate both of them. So then switch on the calibrator. This is the calibrator, and then let's see. Okay, take this one inside the calibrator. So now we're going to calibrate. Okay, switch on. Calibrate the other one. Okay. 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 So we go to the next step. Go to the uh, signal to noise ratio, just double click it, and then uh, so this is the interface. Okay, make it larger. So now we will uh, measure the background noise in this tube. Yeah, the, the tube, no uh, background noise. Just press start here.
have finished the signal to noise ratio okay you can see here this is the background noise yeah and this is the signal to noise ratio right. okay now we need to transfer function calibration press it okay change micro microphone positions right so we need to interchange the microphone a to b and b to a right let's do it violates the low range here right okay and then this is the sample reference sample okay. okay let us do the measurement for the our reference sample so now click measurement all right there you go okay Let's say uh, we name the sample reading is uh, 
reference for today 14 November okay and then add edit okay. add to the directory and then press start value of the reference sample so here the db divided by 100 we need to change it to the linear okay you can see here okay then change once again to the to get the uh, coefficient coefficient in between 0 to 1 so change the number format to the fix so there you go we have uh, the new reading all right the new reading the, the reading yeah so double click it on your right right click get the copy active curve all right then export it to the excel paste it to the excel okay click the excel paste here all right then delete the the info that we don't want Actually, the uh, large sample is between 50 hertz to 160, so we need to remove uh, below 50. So here we have a start 50. We, we, we want the reading from 500E exponent 01 is equal with 50 hertz. Therefore, we delete it. Okay, there we go. So change it to the next step we change it to the number number okay number okay click okay all right so we can plot it okay insert okay the, the graph okay 
so this is our reference sample so we can name it as reference sample reference sample sample so uh, so this is the reference sample okay so we need to compare uh, the reading from our reference sample with the value given by the manufacturer for the for the reference sponge so this is the reading from the manufacturer so we can compare if it is uh, similar so meaning that the reading is okay the first one is the first one from the sample is reference sample is 0 0.04 0 0.04 here we got 0 0.02 the second one is 0 0.01 80 minus 0 0.05 and so on the highest is 0 0.29 0 0.24 0 0.9 is a small disparity so we consider our impedance tube uh, reading can be used for the test so we have a sample here Concrete, concrete sample, porous concrete sample. So insert the tube. Then put it here. Now we click the measurement. Okay. Create a new file here say concrete concrete okay then add and press for the measurement okay and going Again, to see the result, go to the post processing. Again, go to the extraction. Extraction large. Uh, we need to select our one just now is uh, oh, not in here. So double click here, large okay you can see the concrete click the concrete and then extract okay okay to see the result go to the uh, project setup this one and then you can see here result is here all right so there, there you go the result okay need to change the to the linear and then change to the properties um, with the x so you get the answer here very high So you go, so we have the, the value. So the highest is at 400. Okay, so you can plot it. So to do the comparison, so we can call this one and put it here. Okay, so we did this one. It. 
good. Okay, and there you go. This is from the the sponge reference sample, and this is for the concrete. There you go. Okay. Bye.